block. William Reed has just been introduced to the crowd, this terrific high school junior who will be making his debut into the big time in lane one of the 400 meters. We've got a fine event here on the track for you, led by an outstanding high school junior named William Reed. World record belongs still to Lee Evans from back in Mexico City in 1968. There you see some of the outstanding talent here. Reed will occupy lane one. John Standage, wearing red for the West, will be in lane two. Lane three will have Sunder Nix. Ray Pierre from Baylor University is in four. Andrew Valman, who ran for Seton Hall this year, is in five. Dwight Biggers from UCLA is in six. Michael Franks, formerly of Southern Illinois, formerly number one ranked in the world, is out in lane seven. Kevin Robenzine from Southern Methodist University is in eight. Well, Michael Franks has been rounding into shape late in the season, as he does very often. But most eyes, I think, will be on William Reed in lane one, his first race in the big time. He's been so terrific. We've been reading about him for two years, and everybody just wants to see what his stride is like. A high school junior in lane one, Michael Franks, is in lane seven. They'll run in lanes to complete distance. This distance is three yards shy of a full 400 meters. No clear leader except William Reed right now. Look him on the inside. The toughest lane, he's already made up the stagger. Maybe he went out too fast, we'll tell you, in the last 100 meters. It's definitely Reed right now leading. Reed probably has about four meters on the rest of the field. Ray Pierre moving well in the middle of the track in the green for the south. The rest of the field pretty well bunched as we come around. We have right now about 100 meters to go. And it is still William Reed holding on to a slight lead as they come down the home stretch. The young man has about two yards out in lane three. You see Ray Pierre from the south. Look, moving fast. This is Michael Franks as he overcomes. Reed begins to tie up. And it looks like Michael Franks in first, Ray Pierre in second, and we'll let the AccuTrack separate third. Marty, he almost pulled it off, but seasoning and talent and an intelligent first 200 meters pay dividends for Michael Franks. Michael Franks was in the middle of things in the seventh lane. He didn't get nervous. You see him just on the left of your screen, now second from the left. He knows it's a tight race, but he runs an even pace. Really picking it up gradually in the last 100 meters. William Reed in lane one. And if William Reed had been in a lane with a gentler curb, he might have really done something. But everyone knows that his big league debut was pretty fantastic as Kevin Robinson out in lane eight will get second. Third was Raymond Pierre. And the South took two of the three top places. But yet the young man who showed great talent in 1985 with a superb year was injured in 86 has come back and run well in 1987. Unofficially, a time of 45 and 14 one hundredths of a second for Franks. It's actually pretty comfortable here. The temperature, no doubt, is still in the mid-80s, but it certainly feels like it's cooled off a lot here as we will have more exciting track and field action 